Good morning out there on YouTube. This is the start of my, um, we're going to say, JB Welded quarter panel patch. But there's my chicks. Check out my chicks. And there's my helper. She's organizing my my uh, shelf. Um, you can throw that away. I don't know if it works or not. All right, so what I did on this patch right here is I made an outline of what I want to cut out. Now, this metal is a lot thicker than the factory metal. Than the, yeah, factory. Okay, this is the factory metal. And it's a lot better than the stuff we're going to replace it with. So we only want to do what we have to. So we got this rust hole here. It's not supposed to be there. Um, it's not a factory installed option or anything like that. But I went through with a marker and I'm going to cut this with my... Um, one of my tools that I suggest is a very big part of this project. But this is actually supposed to be down here somewhere. That's the, and that part's gone. But usually what happens is, is this starts to rust like this. And there's two panels so all the dirt stays in there. But anyway, you can see the other one right there. You can see parts of it. But I took the other side and cleaned that up and squared it up. But what we're going to do is the straightest this line, the better. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut it. We're going to cut the other piece down because the other piece, you know, the metal isn't that good. So it's over there on that wall right there, that big, huge, huge piece. We're going to cut that down because that metal is a lot thinner than the good stuff. a lot thinner but I got these from Jags I think they were about fifty dollars a piece and the part that we want to use on that is this nice um, I was using a cutoff wheel last time and and it was absolutely horrible I hated it it took hours and hours but this little fella right here from uh, Harbor Freight this thing works wonders it just it just cuts and makes such a perfectly straight line out of everything. And then I use this air punch tool here real quick. So what it does is that little divot right there. You pull the trigger and it goes ch -ch -ch. Also punches a hole in it, which is something I might be doing too on that one. But that little notch right there makes, makes the uh, metal sit in there flush after using that cutty thing you get a lot of these curly cues left they're not french fries so that's what we're going to end up doing is um this is all the supplies from this side that one got welded in but this side so this is the start of the patch panel what we're going to do and then um let's see here let me get let me show you what we're going to use to weld this up i got this stuff here from Advanced Auto. I know you guys are all going to laugh and we're, we just want to see how this turns out. But in theory, this sounds good. It says working time five minutes, so that gets you enough time to get it going. Fixture time ten minutes. Up to 4,500 pounds strength. Dries gray. What I liked about it was it says um, impact resistant can be drilled, filled, and threaded. Now, if this stuff dries to steel and it can be threaded, I think it'll hold a quarter panel patch on. So, I have a, I have a, I'm going to go ahead and get that cut out. I'm going back and forth, so that's why I'm using two different, uh, I'm using my phone for this one. Yeah. Using my phone for this one so that I can record both of these and try to get one out pretty quick. But, um, that's what we did. We removed the trim because you don't want the trim getting all mangled up in the way but um i could probably sweet talk my camera girl once i get started into holding the camera for me so that i can um, get this started not really sure the best way to get it started from a from a corner like that maybe um well maybe i'll just come in pie shaped like that and then come in this way and get it cutting but i'll have her hold the camera while we cut that piece out but I want to, you know, I want to keep, there's, there's no sense in replacing this up here. This is solid 1973 real steel sheet metal. So it's probably got to be, 
30%, 40% thicker than the other stuff. So um, I'll go ahead and turn the camera back on when I start cutting. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to start. For the ride with us. Yeah, sure. We just went for a little ride in this girl here, and I gotta tell you, this dead gun thing's freaking rowdy. Okay, here we go. We got, I used that cutter and it's all cut out nice. Fairly nice. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I want to clean up these edges a little bit and um, I want to shoot, I want to clean that up as much as I can inside of there. Same thing I did with the other side. But it's kind of hard to see in there. Um, I'm just probably going to put some, uh, spray some undercoating in there. Try to scrape off as much uh, flake, flake as I can, and undercoat in there. And then I'll show you what that what that tool does. It sets a nice little edge in there to be able to work with. And then I got to measure the other panel and get it cut. So um, I'll turn you back on when I when I get progress. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can really see it that much, but I started this here so that I can, what you do is you shove it all the way up in there and then you just pull the trigger. And then I try to overlap about 50%. All right, overlap about 50%. And then it makes this nice little indent in here. You can't really get the corner. So I don't know. The other side, I really didn't do much about it. But it's just a pretty neat little tool. It's cheap. I don't even remember, you know, what the... What it costed.
Well, you guys get the idea. So that puts a nice little recess in there so that when you put the other panel on top of there, then it's uh, then it's good. i got to clean that up a little bit. That's rust. So I'm going to clean that up. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go all the way around, continue all the way around, get all this done. And then um, I'm going to show you how I do it. Necessarily isn't the right way to do it. Several people, I'm sure, are going to have nice comments to say about this hack job and all this and that but i gotta tell you there's the right way the wrong way and the way that you're able to do it whether it's a little bit of right and a little bit of wrong at the end of the day if it's hap if it's good and i like it or you like it and you're on your project that that's it you know we we just do what we can do and i'm man i'll tell you i'll park next to anybody in a, in a uh a uh, car show that that drives their ride there and you know put in their hard work this right here you know it's hard work to do it costs a lot of money to pay a body shop to do this stuff and you never know what kind of work you're going to get sometimes you know i i knew a family member that brought a car in for did his homework and and everything was good and and all that and ended up taking six or seven years to get the car done and then it wasn't even done so, um, here we go. I'll turn you back on when we get to the next stage. Okay, I went through and cut the, uh, I trimmed off, um, a whole bunch of that panel. And I have another, my Suburban has a hole right here. So this would be a good panel to save for the other Suburban. But this is basically what I got right now. I have it just held on with some magnets. I just have to uh, keep working it a little bit more. I'm going to trim this down a little bit. I, I tried to oversize it as much as I could, but this was a hard measurement for me to make. So there is enough room in there. Um, and and see what it, this is what I did here too. I cut it past the line I drew and I got it pretty close. I measured it up down here to try to make sure that's as close. Now what I tried to do is measure measure this right here to make sure that the wheel well isn't like crooked because it would look crazy if it was like that. So um, it's about dinner time now so I smell dinner almost done and it's not the chicks over there. If you hear the chickens in the background that's the chicks. <laughs> but um, I think this is pretty well pretty well lined up pretty good i mean a guy that's a little bit more patient could get this line a little bit straighter maybe and that might help out quite a bit but not very patient so what i'm gonna do is is this pushes in real good so i need to measure down here and find where the where the drop off is down here. It's probably right about where the magnet is. And I tried to leave enough on here so that I could cut it with the with the uh, with the air shears there. That I tell you, that is an incredible tool right there because I tried using a uh, cutoff wheel. <laughs> it didn't work that good. So um, I'm going to work this a little bit more and just keep working it, and I'll explain how it goes. I'm only an hour into this so far so you know the, the i'll show you what the other side turned out like with the uh with the uh with welding it in and uh, i mean it's pretty straight still have to uh wet sand it again but that's really what it came out to you can see a little bit through here that just needs a little bit more more working but that's where we're at so far. I'm gonna eat dinner, then come back out here and and uh, and work it. But that's how it, it's cut down to to fit. Um, it gets kind of hard when it's real big and um, real big and a big huge piece. But basically, that's it so far. Kind of held in place with magnets, and then I'll probably um, I might end up popping a hole with the with the uh, tool right there I might pop like two of them in and weld it in place maybe or I'm gonna screw it in place or I'm gonna pop rivet it in place 
because I, I need this to be close glue in it so maybe one two three maybe four across the top I haven't decided exactly how I'm gonna do it I know if I say rivets everybody comes freaking unglued but this product I'm using it you know you got to keep it against there and you can't really clamp that in place I guess you can if a guy had enough magnets, but I don't really have that many magnets. So that's it for now. I'll get back to you when I get progress. We have it uh, pretty well trimmed in here. This is a couple different ways I I, uh, I marked it. Took like okay, we'll go here. Every time I kept taking it off to cut it and trim it. I made uh, marks on it and like here I didn't know how far this this piece was out to here at one time so I marked it here and then I measured from here to the edge and that's how much I knew to cut off there so I'm just trying to decide here real quick if I'm gonna weld this in or if we're gonna epoxy it in um, I bought the epoxy already but we can take it back if I think that uh, um, I think that welding it's going to be the best way to go and I'm pretty sure that's going to be the way I think it should be so I think I'm going to prep this to uh, to weld it in here and then uh, same way I did the other side and uh, I'll check back with you after we get to weld we go I decided to weld it I didn't want to take the chance of uh, not working and this just like falling off that would have been horrible after all that work so I'll experiment on something else so here's my welds go ahead laugh at them tell me how crappy they are and stuff but um it's done it's on there it ain't coming off it's on there so I just get weld a little bit, grind a little bit. Weld a little bit, grind a little bit. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the fiber, uh, let's see. i got to sand this down more so that it's all paint that it's adhering to. And then I have to um, uh, put the fiberglass filler on here so that uh, it makes it waterproof. Then, like, from the back, it'll shoot up through here. And if you don't fiberglass... Bondo it, then um, it will. Um, what do you call it? It will. Uh, it won't be water tight, and the water will get behind it, and the bondo will absorb like a sponge. But there you go. If you got any questions, go ahead and throw them in the in the comments. I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel, and um, I'm gonna get back on it, and I'll turn you back on this in a few minutes after the first layer of fiberglass reinforced. Fiberglass reinforced body filler. And this is what I use here Bondo hair. But any kind you can find though works. This one's Bondo hair. This one's, oh, this one's Bondo glassed. Short strand. I bought this stuff, you know, I buy all this stuff. Years and years ago, actually, I got another bottle of it. I didn't realize that. So, it's just stuff I pile up over the years. We, we buy this stuff when it's on sale. I think this trunk bed coating was cheap, like five bucks or something, so we ended up buying it. But I got so many different kinds of paints and all kinds of stuff saved up over the years. But, uh... We didn't have to buy much to do this project, and I figured welding it was was better than trying to trying to do the uh, epoxy stuff. I just didn't I didn't have much confidence with that. I think this is the way to go, definitely. So just a cheap cheap uh, Harbor Freight welder, and a lot of time and patience. It doesn't have. It's got wire speed. And it's got a one and a two there, and I don't even know what that's for, and a minimum and maximum. 
Not even sure what that's for. But it worked. That panel ain't coming off. So, all right. I'll uh, touch base again with you here in a little bit. Just got to let this dry, sand it down a little bit, and then put a first layer of uh, regular filler over it. All right. Okay, we're getting pretty close. This is the second layer of filler over. Well, then there's the fiberglass filler. So I'm going to call it a night for tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and upload this video, but I'm going to go ahead real quick and uh, throw it in primer. I think I'll throw some primer and then show you guys what it looks like. After. All right, here we go. This is the last little bit. You can still see I still got some more sanding to do. But earlier today there was a big hole there. There is no hole now. So if this kind of stuff works for you, I got a lot more how-to videos planned on coming. I got rocker panel videos coming soon. Um, we're going to go over this and... and uh, Finish it out. See, we still got some more to smooth out over there. So, just having a problem with it with the bondo drying. So, I think it was a little too cold. But there it is. This how to put on a, uh, a patch panel, working man style. There's the right way, the wrong way. And then there's the way that makes you happy. So. This is what makes my wife happy with her blazer. This is, we don't have a whole lot of money in it. We're going to be probably less than 2000 in it by the time it uh, does pretty good. Maybe tomorrow we'll go for a drive or something in it. This, this video's um, driving this video. I have about 2,500 views so far. So um, like, share, subscribe, comment. Uh, tell me what you guys think. You think it'll last? Think it'll hold up? Let me know.